guys could have won this game the way you guys played. What are you things that you liked about the way you guys came out? Um, I didn't like our start <coughs> the first few shifts, but then once we got our legs going, um, yeah, we, we had a good zone time. We had some 10 bell chances. I thought their goalie made some really, really good saves. And you can see, you know, it's, you know, on the bench, you can see the frustration setting with the guys because they were getting the chances. And maybe that's a little tough too because you play a game 48 hours earlier where everything was going in the net. And so you're, you're kind of feeling it all of a sudden they're not going to that for you, but you're still getting those same type chances. And that's the humbling part of this league. It, uh, um, you know, some days are going for you, some days are not. But it's that process of are you getting those chances? And we were. We look at the statistics after the game and most nights, if you look strictly at scoring chances and all those things, we win that game. Or at least we get points on it. So that's a little bit frustrating. But in saying that, you keep doing that, you're going to get points in games more often than not. So um, it's a game we, we could have got points we didn't, and it's frustrating, but let's just move on. How about, how about at the other end? You've seen the things you still want to see defensively in terms of limiting chances on that process at the other I, end of the we're, we've, we've shut down a little bit of the, the uh, total number of chances. Some of the great days we're giving up, I, I still think we're probably giving up a little bit too many. Um, but for the most part, there's definitely been a problem. Is how, did, how you deal with that frustration also part of the process? You yeah, getting you, a you just got to you gotta roll through it. And, and it's a 3-1 game that we eventually ends up being 4-3. Like, we gave this one out. We, uh, it, we didn't play that poorly. I mean, it was kind of tale of two nights, right? You, everything goes in the other night against New York, and we thought we had some, some good quality chances tonight. The goalie either made some good saves or, you know, we hit a couple posts. Um, it was, the start was slow, um, but I, I didn't think it was that poor. Obviously, the urgency picked up at the end when, when we are down, but maybe a case of too little too long. Uh, I see, it seems like when, when we start to play in the right direction and we're doing little things that move where we are, it seems like we have a setback where there's two days in between a game where you're like, you thought you were getting the momentum and then it kind of shifts again. And uh, I think this is going to be good for us coming in here and going to St. Louis and we play every other day until Christmas. So I think guys are looking forward to actually playing games and you know, practicing and feeling the, I guess just feeling the puck a little more in games and getting the momentum and shifting it because I think we've been uh, a lot of days off in between games, I think. It, it kind of affects us, so I think once we start getting the flow of games and playing every day, I think uh, it's going to be really good for the top people. With the chances you did have tonight, just kind of run into a hot goalie in Halibar. Yeah, he played well, and uh, you know we still had to score three, and you know I'm kind of kicking myself for you know I had a pretty open look there uh, right after we made it three two, and you know I was walking into the slot and missed the nuts, so uh, you know we had some good looks and uh, he made it an unreal sale on uh, his rally. Uh, you know, in the dying minutes, so uh, he was good, and uh, that's, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. But uh, you know, it's not like we're you know going to fall now. We we know how we can play, and we know how we you know, can produce offensively. So uh, you know, we just look forward. Uh, big two games in a row.